What is up everyone? This is Too Slow. Today I am going to be working on the bull roll as I like to call it sometimes. Um, if you guys don't follow me on social media, you guys probably don't know that I have a check engine light on the Corolla and for the longest time I thought it was the idle air control valve and it comes on and off and this time it was off and so for this time it was actually for cylinder one misfire so got some new spark plugs and we're gonna install those today inside the Corolla I'm gonna use my don't even know what the hell pronounce how to pronounce this Conway Conway <laughs> I don't know anyways um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my eBay scanner. I actually bought this scanner on eBay for I believe it was $30 and I don't know I, I feel like it has more more to it than the little pocket ones that only have the the up and down and select or something like I feel like this one has a little bit more like in depth to it. It has a couple of um um here I'll show you guys I'll show you guys that way you guys, that way I can just show you guys and it's probably a lot better but yeah, let me show you guys that I actually do have a misfire detection. Um, so there it goes. Turn the car on. And let's get to it. So diagnostics. Oop. I really hope no music plays right now really hope no music plays right now but anyways um previously race data uh let's see so yeah we have two codes pretty sure it's because of the throttle position sensor or yeah, let's check it out there's a cylinder one misfire oh idle air control so this one, um, I'm reading that the throttle body is usually the cause because it starts getting scored or something. I don't know. Um, I'm still trying to get an upgraded throttle body or a bored out one. This is what people are saying to get. But we're going to fix this. Hopefully, hopefully it's a spark plug. I'm going to pull it out. Pretty sure it's a spark plug because I've, I've owned this car for three years now. And it's i haven't changed the spark plug since i bought it so we're gonna go ahead and do that and yeah i was watching boosted boys <laughs> i like their all-wheel drive k20 hatch that they got going on and yeah so yeah, i'll just give you guys a little like you do this read codes some live data view freeze frame readiness o2 monitor test it's actually pretty decent for just 30 bucks like you can't go wrong that's the model number it's like a generic one off ebay i've had it for about two years now never failed on me never had an issue and it's a neat little device so enough rambling let's go ahead and start working on this tools you'll need honestly is just an extension and i have this pittsburgh aka harbor freight five eighths spark plug socket so it's a spark plug socket because you can see the rubber in there the rubber um the when you put the spark plug in there the spark plug will get stuck on the rubber and you're able to pull it out without like the need of anything so let's go ahead and get rid get rid of the old spark plugs because i need to fix this car before i go back to work on monday battery obviously but you have four 10 millimeters covering your plastic engine cover but I think mines are broken yeah <laughs> completely broken these two are broken and I'm missing one right here so let's just go ahead and well my valve cover is really really dirty I need to, I need to clean this up I'll make another video of this sometime in the future, but not right now. Um, 
It's actually Sunday and I'm supposed to be studying for a test I have tomorrow. Um, yeah, not fun, but I gotta get this done and I gotta go study for tomorrow's exam. Um, it's actually Sunday, it's also Sunday, so I have to be at the flea market because I have my business. Obviously, you guys seen it already. So, gotta be two spots, three spots at one time. Gotta be here doing my spark plugs. Gotta be inside doing my homework. And then gotta be at the flea market taking care of my location. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Let's see if they come out. Okay, cool. There goes one coil pack. Oh, wow. What the hell? That one's really dirty. Ooh, wow. Let me actually go get some thing to, not to get too dirty. Got the coil packs off. Just the 10 mil that you got right here that you take off. And one, two, three, four. Take them off, unplug them. Coil packs come out and your spark plugs are in there. Obviously, you should probably know this by now if you own a vehicle. But if not, well, there you go. And got our spark plug socket. So then we get our extension. Drop it in there and yeah, there you go. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, cool. I think this is the yeah, the cylinder one. This is the one that's misfiring. This is the first time I'm looking at spark plugs off this car. too bad but yeah it kind of is burning right like burnt I'm gonna pull out another one see how they look like what are they they are oh crap these are these are original plugs Denso's Iridium holy crap I think those are original plugs I have a feeling those are original plugs <laughs> And this car's like at 170 right now, 170k. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh crap. Yeah, these spark plugs do not look that great. Set this aside. And a quick, easy way to know if it's about, like your back coil pack, swap like one to like four or something. And if your new check engine light is for coil pack number four, misfire on number four, then it's your coil pack that's going bad. But obviously these are original spark plugs. I'm pretty sure they're original from the, from the engine, from the factory. And it's about time to change them out. I'm just gonna change them out. Let's go ahead and do that. What I'm also doing is I'm cleaning the coil packs because, see, look at this one. This one's a little bit dirty and has like oil all around it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean them and just drop them in there. Obviously, just clean them with a the rag, shop rag right here. Just clean them up. Don't gotta be all super neat with them. So just go ahead and do that and then just drop them back in there. So I'm not gonna put back on my plastic um, engine cover, plastic valve cover, because one, those two holes are broken. So the cover's just wobbling up and down. And I'm probably gonna steal it from the other XRs that I got over there and just put that one on for now, or just put that one on later. And yeah, that's it. Um, I'm gonna make a future episode of cleaning the, polishing the valve cover, because this is all really nasty looking. Not gonna do no red, not gonna do no paint job on it. We're just gonna polish it and that's it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do nothing stupid with it. So, just, these are the, Stuff from the valve cover, the plastic valve. 
plastic engine cover. Um, oh, why did I put my 10 millimeter away? I still have to put my battery back on because then my car won't start. Battery's back on, coal packs are back on. Let's start the car. So we won't really know if the check engine light comes back on until we drive the car a bit around. So I'm gonna drive, I'm gonna drive it around. But if you guys want to know what happens, just follow my Instagram. It's Corolla Lola Lola. I post videos, a lot of, I post a lot of stories. On, I post a lot of videos on my stories and pictures and whatnot. And you know, you can follow me there for weekly content because I'm working. Well, I've been working all the time, but now that I'm commuting, it's about two hours less in my life that I have to be stuck in traffic. But I mean, the pay's better, so it's all right. And then I get benefits, which is what I wanted. So it's whatever, you know. I'm, I'm happy with where I'm at right now. I'm not complaining. More money in my pocket. All good. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell notification button, share. Thanks for watching.